everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video i hope you're all doing well and i hope that you had a wonderful christmas celebration and if you don't happen to celebrate christmas then at least i hope you had a lovely break and enjoyed your quality time with your loved ones husband and i had a relatively quiet christmas which is lovely as always because it's just me and him and my boy pickle but yeah we had a lovely break from work four days straight which is nice well at least here in the uk we had four days off from christmas eve up to the day after boxing day so um yeah it was quite nice actually well since i am supposed to do a video anyway to greet everyone a happy new year i thought I might as well do a little haul and since this is going to be the last one for this year i might as well show you everything i've got before the end of the year before that cheers everyone i have a mug of prosecco with can you see that oh i don't know if you can but anyway i don't want to tip it over um, it's a Prosecco with frozen strawberries from my garden and I am just having the last glass of that Prosecco that I opened last Christmas day. Well this mug actually I've got from Tiger, Flying Tiger, Copenhagen. Um, if you have seen that Home Bargains and Tiger Copenhagen video that I've done, the first part of it well, has been corrupted and I didn't realize this is one of the things that I've actually missed out on showing you guys. So I thought I might as well show this to you now. This is the mug that I've got there on that day. Anyway, cheers everyone. So how's everyone? How's your Christmas celebration? Did you have loads of presents? Did you get everything you wished for from Santa? <laughs> Let me get on with this haul. It's only a little haul. Now there's few bits here and there. I've got one from Lidl, Asda, Poundland, the original factory and charity shop. So let me start on this one. This is I picked up from the middle of Lidl and I thought it was such a bargain. Cast iron casserole dish for £30 or something that I thought it is for a four litre one. A really decent um, casserole and it's a cast iron I thought it was such a good deal um, actually this is where it is you know it's really heavy I took it out of the box already because I've already made what did I make on this one turkey curry oh my goodness turkey curry on boxing day and look how big this is this is amazing I can put a whole chicken in it and slow cook it for the next eight hours pretty big so for 30 pounds 32 pounds i think something like that i think this is such a steel no it's not steel it's a cast iron <laughs> but you know what i mean so um yeah i decided to pick that one up i thought it is a bargain next what am i going to show you next oh in our area we have a newly opened Poundland Superstore and I decided to pop in. I picked up a couple of things, one of which is this skirt. This one is £7.50 or £7.25 because it was half price. It's a shame I couldn't find a jumper that matched with this one. Well, not necessarily match, but a jumper that of the same fabric. There are some, but it's not to my taste, if you know what I mean, and I don't think it was going to actually go with this one i decided to pick this up because it's nice and thick it is a midi skirt with a slit on the side i've already worn it actually so it has been washed and i worn my thermal stockings that i picked up from bernardo's last week if you've seen that video if you haven't i will leave the link on the description box below and i used it um, to go with this and it was nice and comfortable and then the next one I picked up is also this corner shelf for my cupboard to put a couple of plates on. I picked up a black one. This is £4.50. It's nice and sturdy and it's lovely and um, coated. And you know very well that it's not going to go rusty because as much as I like this sort of like metals, but if it starts to go rusty, it does my head in. So... um I thought that was 
quite good and then I also popped into Asda and I picked up these goblets and I have been looking for this well since last summer or last year I think I can't remember but anyway here it is I finally finally got hold of them I just love how retro they are with a gold edging and yeah the design is very retro it's very like vintage like and it's clear it's not colored I didn't want the blue I didn't want the pink or purple I just wanted the clear one and I thought this is amazing you can use it for water for wine for pretty much everything really and I am so pleased with that so we've used that last Christmas day already of course we also popped into the original factory. Is it the original factory shop? Yeah, the original factory shop. I picked up a couple of things and I thought they're so cute. They were on sale because it's Boxing Day, so everything is 50% off. And I picked up a couple of these tree ornaments. It's wooden Christmas tree ornament. Oh, let me just... That's what they look like. Um, this one is... A stag on it and it lights up for one pound fifty I thought this is amazing and then the other one also lights up oh also a stag is it a stag oh no it's a reindeer it's a reindeer with a present and a car that's what it looks like can you see it it's pretty isn't it so i picked up two because i was thinking next year i plan to do a minimalist christmas tree which i don't think the husband is sold on the idea he likes the loud colorful and throw everything in it christmas tree that he's used to with me for the past 20 years we've been married that's what I've been doing and he loved that idea so he feels he's going to miss it next year but I just feel like I think we'll go minimalistic next year and I actually don't have a lot of wooden Christmas tree ornaments so I picked up a couple for now that's just the idea that's the thought and I hope I succeed in it but yes yeah that was one pound 25 because they're 250 each and I picked it up for one pound 25 each this one is two pounds 50 for the set it's a pack of eight wooden tree decoration that's what it looks like um it looks like this four snowflakes and four robins i'm not going to open it now because I, obviously it's going to go into storage now until next year and it was five pounds and i got it for two pounds 50 and i thought yes also 50 percent so this is normally 25 uh, pounds each and we got it for 15 pounds no no i can't remember the original price of this but anyway oh it's 30 pounds oh my god of course 50 percent the 15 percent uh, 50 percent is 15 pounds oh what is wrong with the brain catherine but anyway <laughs> um i got a couple of jeans for the husband one is this dark navy blue color and the other one is the normal jeans denim sort of color slightly lighter than the other so this actually it looks black but it's actually really dark blue like navy blue and this is the denim uh normal color oh here is the price recommended retail price is 25 yeah but we bought it for 15 pounds if you buy two you'll only have to pay 25 pounds i'm sure of that we've got these two for 25 pounds so there oh we got there in the end oh my goodness put it on that side oh by the way have you met mr gonk i'm sure you have if you've seen my home bargains video he was from there from home bargains if you haven't seen that i will leave the link on the description box okay next thing we popped into um, Bernardo's well on the way to Morrison's which I picked up this let me just show you another 
bottle of Prosecco from Morrison's for the New Year's Eve celebration. What is that? Oh, okay. So yeah, next door to Morrison's is Bernardo's Charity Shop. I picked up a few items, like Christmassy items, they're also on sale, 50% off. And I picked this, stockings. It's a knitted um, stockings for one pound. How cute is that? And with my initial on it. So I decided to grab it. The husband said, pick it up for next year. Because I thought it looks classic. It looks timeless um, design anyway. So yeah, to be honest, I just realized, oh, it looks like that. Look, it looks like this. How cute. But yeah, to be honest, all my stockings that I've had over the years, I think I packed it and sent to my nephews and nieces because they were a little childish, to be honest. Come on. <laughs> so I'm sure they will enjoy it more. But this one is a timeless classic um, style. So I decided to pick that one for one pound. And then while we're on Christmas items, I also picked up this country living country Christmas ideas Recipes and decorative hints for the perfect Christmas Inside it, it includes hundreds of ideas instruction and hints on homemade tree and room decorations Perfect gifts seasonal food and edible flowers. I thought it was amazing And yes, I've already seen few things that I thought I will make just like this gingerbreads so yeah I like that idea of homemade decorations why not I have to start on that one again because I completely forgotten about it you know I was brought up with homemade decorations and everything um, I guess well back then I didn't realize it was minimalist style because we didn't have a lot but when you think about it actually it's low maintenance and everything is homemade, made of paper, and now I'm seeing them in stores. If they're not made of paper, they're made of woods. That's what we used to have back home. It kind of wake me up a little bit, you know? Um, so next year, the goal is to have a, probably not an extreme minimalist Christmas tree or Christmas decorations, but it is going to be minimal compared to what we have now. But yeah, speaking of Christmas, I also picked up this Christmas coloring book for 50p. That's one of them. And they're not, oh, is it used? Is there a color there? Oh, there is one that's got a color, which is just that. But the rest, they're not at all. Look, they're not being, and they're 50p. I thought this is perfect for my little niece so she can have that and the other one is stickers this one is not actually um, Christmas but it's all the sticker play magical activities she will definitely enjoy this she is at that stage she's two years old and she is she's at that stage where she just you know draw and color and in fact she's already reading and I bet you if I show this to you she will be able to read that I'm quite shocked but then again the mother is a teacher and the father also a teacher so what can you expect from it <laughs> but yeah um, also for 50 pence I also picked up this window snow stencils I was actually planning of getting one from Amazon but they are made of plastic and it's reusable it's washable this one is made of cardboard but can be reused as well not washable though hopefully I get to reuse it as well the snowman father Christmas angels um, reindeer sleigh Christmas tree a wreath and a candle and the sign Merry Christmas they are the design inside Okay, so that's that and then a couple more picked up. This is also a pound each. One is this little bottle with a cork lid. Do you know what? I was actually thinking, what am I going to put in it? My husband said you can put extra virgin olive oil or salsawan. Salsawan is a Filipino term for a dipping sauce, like homemade dipping sauce. That's one pound and I also picked up another one of these 
canister, this jar, also for a pound. So that's a bargain. And then, last but not the least, I picked up, this is brand new. This is also a pound. This one is brand new, it's not even used yet. It's a hoop earring. Let me just put it on, it looks like. And, oh, actually I don't have earring, I forgot to put any. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Do you know, I forgot I actually bought this. So that's, that's that. So yes, I guess that's everything I've got for the last haul video of this year. Thank you so much everyone for watching. And let me take this opportunity to thank you guys for the love and support for the past year. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I am sending you all the good vibes and all the best wishes for the new year. I wish you good luck, good health and prosperity for your family and loved ones. Let's hope next year it will be better for each and every one of us. And I just want to let you all know that I am grateful for each and every single views that you have given my channel, for subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much indeed. And for the time being, please be safe out there and look after yourselves. Have a safe celebration. Enjoy yourselves. Have the best time. And I will see you next year. Happy New Year! Mm -hmm.